Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is about the most products of 2015. And I'm going to start off with what I am wearing. And... Hello? Mm. Hello everyone. Today we're talking about the worst products of 2015. If you missed my best products of 2015, I'll link it down below for you. Be sure to check that video out. And let's get straight into this one. I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing. This dress is the first one I wore for my first YouTube video last year. And I feel like that was like the worst video ever. Um, it is still available if you want to watch it but that video will soon be unavailable because it's just so <coughs> bad. But for me I feel like even looking at that video, this dress, I don't know, it's like so colourful and if you've seen a lot of my videos I do wear a lot of black and like plain colours um, so I don't know, I just don't like it. I'm going to start off with hair care and I've never featured these on my videos because I've actually never done a review on them but this is Edward Beale's Moroccan Gloss Argan Oil. I used this once and I put it away. It just doesn't feel nice on my hair and then a day later when my hair usually is okay the, my hair just looks so oily. I'll blow dry my hair and it will literally look like my hair is just frizz. I've tried his other one. I can't remember which one it was. They don't sell it anymore. I couldn't find it. So I had the conditioner still left over and went to get the shampoo and it was completely gone. And I absolutely love that one. So it's not like I despise Edward Beale's shampoos and conditioners. Keeping with hair care. I received these three in the parcel. It's the John Freda. I just didn't feel it did anything for me. But if you want a review on this, oops, on this, oops. If you want to see the review on this, you can check that video out. I'll link it down below for you. Lipstick. I literally bought too many lipsticks last year. But anyway, these two are. This is Maybelline's Coral Fever, and this one is. Kate, 32. This one, I could not taste it and it said coral fever and I was kind of in the coral mood to get all coral stuff. I thought it would be more coral. It's really on the very orange coral side which I was quite disappointed because um, even though it looks like that, it comes out really orange. I just don't like it. This one looks a little bit better. Um, the Kate one and it looks more like it would be a natural comes out orange like literally you put it on your hand and it's a nice color I put it on my lips and it came out orange I want another orange one sticking with lipstick I'm going to feature Rimmel's Provocalypse I bought one and I'm glad I only bought one the color is nice it's an intense color I think the thing that bugs me the most is you're supposed to lock it in and shine and I'm very much like liking to keep my stuff clean that is not clean that bugs me so much I just don't like that and for that reason I don't like this Physicians Formula I absolutely love this packaging it is so pretty it's just so like I just want to display it it's so cute I love the display if I have to use a wet brush to get the eyeshadow out. I don't want to. I want to be able to take my brush and put it on my eyes. I don't like wet eyeshadow like that. If I want a wet one, I'll get one. Those colors just don't come out. I found that they didn't blend nicely. Just wasn't happy with this. But I'm not going to throw it because I think the package is really pretty. So I'm just going to put it down. The next one is Maybelline's Brow Process. Um, Literally the thing that I use on this is this because like get those eyebrows up because ah! <sighs> my eyebrows are disaster at the moment but we'll get there. Um, I've used quite a bit of it because I've really really tried 
and this color I think is just the brown it's like the light brown it just doesn't look right I just couldn't come right with this this Saint Tropez now apparently it's a really good brand and like I'm sure their tanning stuff works really well for me this did absolutely nothing this is Woolworths select quick and easy nail polish remover 30 removal wipes I'm saying it's a bad product because it's one of my worst products. It's acetone free and I know acetone free is better. It doesn't work for me. I literally have to sit there and scrub, scrub, scrub to get it off. I like that. Next item is the Rimmel BB Cream. It's a medium and it's too dark for me. Did not like it. It just felt like it was flaking on my skin. It just didn't look right. This item is the worst of 2015 but I think I'm to blame mainly because I did get it off eBay usually I get stuff off eBay is quite good but this one this one wasn't so basically it came with its bag and it's oh, the brushes these brushes are horrible they are so hard you literally like when you're putting it on you look because you're gonna poke yourself so there weren't that many of the worst products of 2015 for me, but I think some of the products that were bad products I've actually given away, um, swapped with other people. Hope you enjoyed seeing the, well, I don't know if you'll enjoy seeing the worst products, but just knowing what didn't work for me, and that might help you out if you see it in store next and you're like, mm, okay, no, I'm going to give a skip on that one. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please thumbs it up. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!